Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Carol here and we have a flip through. Now, you will have seen me make this cover in a previous video. And so I'm not going to dwell on that too much. Just to say that I popped a gorgeous vintage doily. I know it's white, but it is really old. And I've just popped that on, sewn it down and just left these edges. So this is completely flexible spine and it's got three massive signatures. <laughs> I mean, massive. It's like four inches tall, this journal. It measures ten and a half inches by, oh, by seven, but when, you know, seven and a half, eight, maybe, something like that. It's very hard to measure when you've got dangly bits over and the spine and the height is four inches so as you can see it's, it's pretty chocker block the reason for this is because I've made all the pages and I've made all the pages previously and it's been one of those projects where I've kept going back and adding more bits to them and so they've ended up massive I could have made three separate little bird journals but I decided to put them all in here and they're quite boho little pocket here in the front so I've just tied it up with this lovely soft fabric and inside I'm just going to go through I'm not going to talk chat 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 all the way through just mention a few things so this is the writing board, which is covered with vintage book pages. This is a magazine pocket that I've made in a previous video. I'll link below. We made these. This is just a little journey card. It's quite boho, but not in the sense of lots of bling. Just very eclectic. We've also made these. And of course, there's my cat. It's pretty interactive. We've got a big tag here. Wax seal and a cluster. And then this bit opens up and you've got a little mixed media tag inside. So, and, you know, writing space. This is just backed onto packaging paper. Save your coffee dyed paper. There's all sorts of clusters. It's another tag. Just random clusters on it. And this one's got a notepad on the back. Um, I think this is a previous video where I decided where I was going to put that. <laughs> Pockets, little cards. These I just got from free images off Google Google book page this is just a hessian tag you can back that if you want to write on it I just thought it went quite nice so book page with some napkin lots of blank pages pages for writing on a little tag on there again back it if you want but you know sometimes you just like things to pull out and have a look at this one's got um i've done with my gelatos and then added a bit of scrapbook paper and some more coordinating tags and they just slide into this little tuck spot which also opens up for more writing so lots to do in this one. Another little card. This one flips out and inside I've got some bits of um, net and some handmade paper. It's the centre of the first one which has big pockets and this is just, just a tag, just a tag and a card. Fabric tag here. It's, um, yes, I know. Are you awake? I thought you were asleep. 
I've got things dangling off the page edges. There's a fish here. Paper. Um, what are they called? Ruffles? That's what they're called. Folded up pocket. Where it's got three little pockets. So you've got one here, one here. Tag in there. And then another tuck spot. This is a vintage book page. Just layered up. This is mulberry paper, I believe. A little bird on there. Just a cluster up there. Colouring page. Envelope tuck with some gorgeous writing paper in the back there for notes. Snowball's settling down, that's good. Little tuck spot. And it just opens up. A little tag inside. And just, just a bit of collage. Just decorating the envelopes. That's the first signature. As you can see, each signature could be a journal in itself. But I've I've made three of those. I know. Uh, I did get a bit carried away. And then I had to make a massive cover. So there's a couple of plain tags to be decorated up. Envelope. Which is gelatos and stamping on there. And a little tag with a pocket. In a pocket in a pocket. This I love this. This is a old pair of jeans I've cut up and I've just put some fabric on and I've made a fabric tag for inside. This is felt. That goes nicely in there. I just went, I was just testing out all sorts. In here is a part of the calendar that I cut up. In here is vintage photo of some travellers and the baby and the kids. I like that. And just a book page pocket. I have a cluster with some bead dangles. Corner tuck. This one has um, a card and some. This is original vintage writing paper. It's it's actually that colour. I haven't coffee dyed or tea dyed that. And this is just a card. Bright yellow flower with a button with an orange button. Don't ask me. I was going colourful. This is some more of the calendars. The little squares at the back that you can just cut out and turn into little journaling cards. This is my leaf dyed eco paper. I must do some more of that. It's too windy today. I can't do any today. Little tuck spot there. Some vintage book page and a little cluster. I love this button. It's got all the colours. And again, backed onto um packing paper and i've done some like different stitches but i think that turned out really cute some random bit of muslin and fabric just stuck down on there it was originally sewed and then i've glued it on this is the center another book page pocket so i've got one of my little atc cards here it's blank on the back. I haven't written on it. A decoupage tag. That's napkin. And you've got some... Whatever they're called. I forget what they're called. We see things, you know. You know what they are. Cluster. This is like a double pocket. So you've got one pocket here. And this is a, just a decorated tag. With a sticker on it. So you've got a, a pocket here and a pocket here for that one. And behind is another pocket. And that's just um, scrapbook paper. And that's a vintage book page. A little cluster. Again, another tuck. This is from Pinterest. And I've just added some layers 
random strips down the edge of this paper. This is some of my eco dyed. This is the ones that turned out really well. That's a second signature. Again, another pretty chunky one. So if you like chunky journals, this one might be for you. Okay, the third one has this pocket made from, I think this is a piece of fabric from a cushion. I've just attached a piece of puzzle to this with a yo-yo. And there's some colouring to do. Lots of things to do. Some more card to turn into tags or pockets. A vellum pocket here with a tab on it. This paper is um, handmade paper, not by me. I bought it handmade from the car boot. And the other side of the vellum tuck has a little journaling card and some more vintage paper. Another pocket. Again, decoupage napkin. Um, a tag that's been gelatoed, tied and cluster. Just nice and simple. Oop, get in. It's quite a roomy pocket. It's fine. On the back has another yo-yo with a fabric flip. That's like really soft. And to match it, I've done some purple on this corner. Just some random, random collage in. Nice big pocket with a vintage postcard in. Which is a journaling card. A bit of stamping. This page I've just completely covered with black lace. And I've put a little dangle on it as well. And inside, you can put whatever you like. At the moment, I've got this tag journaling card, which has got vintage paper. It's very grungy. And I've got an original vintage playing card tucked in. I didn't cover the back because it's got like London M um, sites on it. So I thought I'd leave it. And then if you want to cover it up, you can cover it up. Little fabric topper. I popped a little bag on here with some little bits for you to play with. I love this. I couldn't decide where to put this printout. So I've left it in that bag. <laughs> I've got a label on so you know what's in there. You can write what's in there. I love this tag. This is just out of a magazine and it's got shepherd's huts on it and a lovely little swing seat. I do like that. That just tucks in. And I've got this that I've got from my scrap store. So, so, so soft. Those are gorgeous. Just love them. I love a bit of tassel. On this page, we've got um, a simple belly band and then a little notebook, which just tucks in and I've just blinged it up slightly and all I've got is this little bit that tucks in and that stays on there. This pocket has um, scrapbook paper, some butterflies and I've left this. This is a wallpaper butterfly and I've just left it blank so that you can actually write on it and then he tucks in there. Be careful you don't tuck him too far because he's quite big. There we go. It's, it's cluster. Corner pocket with another journaling card there. And a big pocket with an original book page on there. Again, packing paper. I think there's two, two little spaces to tuck something in there, but I didn't. Or pocket, another tag. Put loads of bits on the top of that one. She looks like she's a bit frivolous. And a fairy stamp. I like this one. This one comes out. It's got chill out written in the middle of the flower. I mean, you could put it as a pocket, but I left it in there as... You can do what you like. Do what you like with that one. 
Um, this is off a uh, belly dancer skirt. I've dangled that off this, whatever you call them, tab. <laughs> and that's the end, except for there's a few um, old postcards. They're all blank, so you can write on the back. And in the pocket, I popped um, this card, card, <laughs> this book page. I'll get the right way up. I think it's Italy. And I've sewn it and glued it down onto another piece. So this could go on a page. You know, you could use it as collage fodder. Same as this. This is like a great Yarmouth. And it's like a big old-fashioned map. I don't know the year. I can't see a year. But... That's quite cool. And I also, I've recently found some coffee filters. So I thought I'd pop one of them in as well. Something to use. And now I've, I wanted to keep this shut down. So I've invented this closure where I put some buttons on and then you just wrap this round. And then this opens up and inside you've got a massive big pocket. So put whatever you like in there. So that's the inside of the envelope. And it doesn't matter how you do these up. You can do them however you like. You can go sideways. You can go round. I just find I thought it was quite a fun little way. Because you're not going to go in there all the time. You could keep all your bits and pieces that you want to put in the journal in there. There's still room. It will expand even more, look. You could expand this another couple of inches. So that... <laughs> Here's my mammoth journal. I don't think I've ever made one quite so big. Just got carried away. I don't know. It won't stand up. Oh, it will. It will stand up. Look at that. It stands up all by itself. And it's just, it's really nice. It's really tactile and it's just yummy. So I hope you like it. Um, I will be listing her in the Etsy shop when this video goes up. So, you know, if you're interested, pop over, have a look. I'll put all the sizes and how many pages are in it and all that sort of stuff in the description in my Etsy shop. OK, guys, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you all again really soon. Bye.